But this video is gonna be a little bit different than my other what I eat in a day videos because yesterday I kind of very mildly sprained my hand. Should have just bought a banana. <laughs> that would have been a lot easier to eat today. So whoever marketed pancakes as a breakfast food, A plus. A plus that you made it work because if you think about it for more than five seconds, that's dessert. I'm just saying, it's dessert. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I'm gonna do a little what I eat in a day, but this video is gonna be a little bit different than my other what I eat in a day videos because yesterday, I kind of very mildly sprained my hand. So let me tell you what happened. First of all, I'm fine. Like I can move my hand, I'm okay. But yesterday, I was doing laundry, right? The very dangerous sport of laundry. And I was getting some of my clothes out of the dryer and I was walking down the hallway back to my bedroom from the laundry room to my bedroom. It's just literally laundry room, hallway, bedroom. And I was just walking and I turned and I'm not entirely sure what happened in this moment, but I turned and completely smashed my hand against the wall. Like I backhanded the wall like really hard. Immediately I was like, okay, cool. I can't move my hand. It's like super swollen. Can't move my hand, not super swollen, but it was swollen and it hurt and I couldn't really move it. I put some ice on it and you know, it did not hurt that bad, but if you can just imagine with all of your might backhanding the wall, it just hurt, okay? It just hurt. And so um, last night I iced it and stuff and then this morning I woke up and I guess my left hand got sympathy pains from my right hand because my like tendonitis, because I also have tendonitis and arthritis in my hands. And so my tendonitis started to act up this morning in both of my hands and I got trigger finger in both my hands this morning. And then that, you know, went away and that's fine. But my right hand still just is a little bit swollen, a little bit sore. It's totally fine, but I might end up wrapping it just for a couple days. But yeah, so I think I just super mildly sprained it. I probably didn't even sprain it. I think I just got a bruise, I think. is all. I mean, not a visible one, but I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just hurt my hand a little bit, okay? And so in today's video, I was like, I want to do a what I eat in a day, but with my hand that hurts a little bit. And so I don't really want to chop anything because I don't want to make it any worse. I don't want to like grip a knife and have to chop anything that's like really hard to chop. And so basically today I was like, let's just kind of do a what I eat in a day without having to chop anything. Or there's like one thing, but it's super mushy and I'm gonna try it lefty. Cause I am left-handed, but I use a knife with my right hand. And so today for lunch, I'm like, or breakfast or whatever, I'm like, let me just see if I can cook a meal without really chopping anything. So for lunch today or breakfast, actually I already did break my fast with some chocolate chips before but it is 2.20 and now it's time for like a proper meal. And so I'm gonna make scrambled eggs and bacon and I'm gonna peel and chop up a pear and we're gonna do this left-handed and see. Because again, I am left-handed, but using a knife and stuff, I would always generally do right-handed, but I think I can do it lefty, it'll be fine. So pear, bacon, eggs. Um, I am heating up this pan right now. So let's get the bacon on here. I have Smithfield thick cut bacon. Oh, I should have moved you closer, but now I have bacon hands. Hold on, I have bacon hands. And this is, I shouldn't be holding things. <laughs> I like that I'm like, I'm gonna take it easy with this hand and I'm holding bacon with it. Okay, let me bring you a little closer, even though I have bacon hands. Let's see what I can do. How's that, is that okay? So I have the Smithfield thick cut bacon and the pan is already heating up, like I said. It's been on since like right before I started recording. So let's get three slices because look at the end of this bacon. Look how thin it is. I'm gonna do three slices of this. And then I'm gonna immediately start flattening the bacon because I like when my bacon's crispy. And if I don't immediately start flattening it, it starts to curl up a little bit and then it's gonna cook inconsistently. So I'm gonna put this away and then I just take a spatula and just start to press it down. This pan, I need to get a new one. It somehow got warped or something, and so now like it wobbles. So anyway, but for now, I'm just gonna like hold this down while it cooks. I know some people put their bacon in the oven. Is that worth it? Like in my head, is that really worth like turning your oven on just to make some bacon when you can make it on the stove? I don't know, but some people swear by it. Let me know if you guys make your bacon in the oven. I just always make mine on the stove and just hold it down. And I like it crispy but not burnt. There is a middle ground between crispy and not burnt. So I'm gonna cook this and then when this is basically almost done, I will do the scrambled eggs because those only take one minute to make. 
All right, so let's flip this. No, don't get curly. I shouldn't have flipped it yet. I flipped it too early. Flipped it too early. This one got curly. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but it works. All right, can I uncurl this without getting another utensil? Yeah, come on. Yes. Now I hold down this side. All right, I'll talk to you guys when the bacon's done. Okay, so this bacon is about done. So I just lowered it and I put that pan on for the eggs and I just cracked two eggs in here. See, like again, look, I can use that hand. It just feels swollen. Probably shouldn't be using it. Okay, I'll let that sit for a second. And then I have my Earth Balance soy-free butter. This really does taste similar to regular real butter, but I have a dairy allergy, so I can't have real butter. And I have a gluten allergy, I have a bunch of food allergies. Okay, so I'm going to put some butter in this pan. I like to use olive oil to cook some things, but specifically for eggs, the butter helps it not stick. Even though it's a non-stick pan, the butter helps it not stick. If I use olive oil, it sticks a little bit more, at least with that pan, I don't know. Okay, so this bacon is done. So I can shut that burner off, which is pretty good timing because those eggs will just take a minute. I'll take off of here and I have a plate. I don't know if you can see over here, but I have a plate with a paper towel. Just let that drain. Now I'm gonna get on this side and I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in these eggs. Whisk these up and then pour them in. So there are obviously a million ways to make scrambled eggs. I like making them on low and then just continuously scrambling them. And I personally, I mean, it really depends on my mood slash if I accidentally make the pan too hot or whatever, but preferably I like to make them low and slow. It still only takes a minute or two, but low and slow, continuously stirring them. And then I like to take them off the heat when they're still a little bit wet. But again, sometimes I make the pan too hot and they come out uh, you know, drier or more cooked, which is also fine. I really like eggs kind of however they can be cooked. I like them. Okay, perfect. Okay, get the napkin out of the way. Shoot. All right, I guess I have to lift this with my left hand and then maneuver it with my right. Yeah, gripping this it just hurts a little bit. Even my wrist hurts a little bit. Okay. I wish I took them off like 20 seconds sooner, but that is okay. And now I'm gonna see if I can peel this with my left hand. Cause then chopping up a pear does not take any effort because it's just a pear and it's like mushy. This feels very weird. I should have just bought a banana. <laughs> that would have been a lot easier to eat today. I just cut off so much of the pear. <laughs> oh well, okay, we did it. That was difficult, but we can do difficult things, guys. Okay, this is the one thing I'm gonna chop. The one thing. I also could have just eaten it off the stem, but. Okay, we did it. There's my breakfast or lunch or whatever. to shock all of you, I'm not having a LaCroix <laughs> with my lunch, I'm having orange juice. Okay, so here's my lunch, breakfast, whatever. I've got a close-up shot on my phone. But bacon and eggs and a pear. I'm gonna shock you again. I'm not even having Cholula with this. I'm just gonna have the eggs by themselves. All right, thank you God for my food. In Jesus' name, amen. Cheers. Pretty good. I wish they were a little bit less cooked, just a little bit. They're still perfectly cooked, but I was just in the mood for more like, you know, wet scrambled eggs. Anyway, perfectly cooked bacon. Crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. So I'm gonna go finish this and then I'll talk to you in a few hours where I make another meal 
where I don't really have to chop anything. Hey guys, it is dinner time and I had this whole idea of making chicken nuggets and a baked potato for dinner because that takes no chopping. But uh, literally the last hour, all I have wanted is pancakes and so we're gonna make pancakes for dinner. I have the G-free gluten-free pancake mix. This is really good. I have a gluten allergy, dairy allergy, a bunch of stuff. I can't eat nuts either. And so this pancake mix is made from like rice flour and stuff. And this makes the fluffiest gluten-free pancakes that I've tried. And so it's really good. I got it at Aldi. And so I'm going to just make pancakes really quick. I'm not gonna make anything else with it because I really just want pancakes. And so I'm just gonna mix together the ingredients really quickly. I already have the pan heating up. And so basically, I don't measure, I just kind of guess. But uh, this pancake mix uses pancake mix, milk, which I'm using uh, coconut milk, and then a little bit of oil, I use olive oil, and then an egg. I just eyeball it and then, you know, kind of just decide on the consistency. Let me bring you closer. Okay, so another no chopping meal. This takes zero chopping. I actually don't even really need to use this hand at all. I mean, a little bit, but let's just put a bunch of this in here. And then this is my favorite dairy-free and nut-free milk to use. It's a so delicious organic coconut. I like the unsweetened one. It doesn't really taste like anything. Like it doesn't even really taste like coconut. So that's why I like to get it because you can mix it with anything. But they also have vanilla and stuff, uh, like a couple different flavors. That might be enough. I don't know, we'll eyeball it and then we'll add more if I need to. And then a little bit of oil. I'm just using olive oil. It says vegetable oil, but I prefer olive oil. And then one egg. Stir this up. So that's probably good, I would say. Not too thick, not too thin. Okay. And this pan is clean. I just desperately need a new one. All right. So I have the pan on about medium. Okay. Let's see how that pancake goes. Okay. That pancake is looking pretty good. I just ripped one open to show you the inside. I don't know if you can see, but they get really fluffy. Perfect. Okay, that pancake is good. Last pancake. I don't know if you can see. There we go. All right. Okay, so I made four pancakes and I actually put butter in between each layer because I love butter with my pancakes. I'm gonna add more on top. I also put a little bit of syrup like halfway through and I'm gonna add the rest on the top. Okay, this is basically dessert for dinner. It's gonna be so good. Okay, let's go eat. Okay, and then I have pure maple syrup that I got at Aldi, I believe. And then I have more orange juice. It's an orange juice day. Okay, so let me just uh, put the syrup on. Okay, and we'll get a close up. Oh, wait, I don't even want to cut the pancakes with my right hand. I guess I can just do this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. All right, cheers. Oh no. Mm. They're so good. That pancake batter is just really good and it makes them really fluffy. Mm. I'll show you like a uh, close up. Look how fluffy that is. For a gluten-free pancake, that's fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna go eat the rest of my dessert dinner, and I guess I'll talk to you anytime later if I end up having a snack, and then I'll close out the video. All right, bye guys. I'm almost done eating, but I don't even know if I can have those last few bites. Maybe one more bite but it's very filling. But I know that this video accidentally ended up being like a breakfast all day kind of video, but 
I personally have a hard time saying that pancakes are a breakfast food. This is dessert. This is a cake that you make on the stove. This is dessert. I know that you might see it as a breakfast all day video. I see it as a breakfast for breakfast and dessert for dinner video. But maybe it's a breakfast all day video. I don't know. I just think it's funny that we live in a world where we call pancakes, waffles, and French toast a breakfast food when it is just carbs with syrup on it. That's cake. That's a cupcake. It's a regular cake. This is literally called a pancake. It's a cake you make on a pan. It's literally what it's called. So whoever marketed pancakes as a breakfast food, A plus. A plus that you made it work because if you think about it for more than five seconds, that's dessert. I'm just saying, it's dessert. Maybe one more bite. Also the disclaimer that I should have in all my videos, this is not a what I eat every single day. This is just what I'm eating today and especially that I don't wanna chop things. So did you see any vegetables in this video? No, but I don't know, don't yell at me. Some days I eat vegetables. Today, just probably not. I did have a fruit and dessert, so you know, whatever. Okay, yeah, no, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I might want a snack later, like something saucy, but I'm not sure yet. So you'll be surprised along with me. All right, but I'll talk to you guys in a little bit anyway. Hey guys, it is 9.48 p.m. and I ate dinner around what, 6.30 or so and I haven't had anything since then, no snacks or anything like that. And so I guess I'm just gonna end the video here because I'm gonna do a little bit more work maybe and then I'm gonna get in bed and read and hopefully fall asleep soon and so I'm not gonna eat again today and so I just wanna end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed a little what I eat in a day while I have a very mildly injured hand. It's already starting to feel a little bit better it just really feels swollen you know that kind of feeling and so I'm just gonna baby it for the next few days but I hope that you enjoyed this video and hanging out with me a little bit while I was eating today I really hope that you're subscribed I'm doing a lot of these food videos on Sundays and then I vlog a couple times throughout the week as well and uh, yeah I guess that's it thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day I love you Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later bye